Hello everybody, this is VCAM Noah. Um, you guys just saw my video about the DVD players that I got from the Resource Center. Well, this is also some more stuff that I got from there. Um, got three Dells, an IBM ThinkPad, and a Toshiba. So let's start with the top one. This is a Toshiba Tecra. 740 CDT. It looks like my Toshiba Satellite Satellite Pro 4020 or 420 CDT. They're kind of the same, like they're chunky and they have a gray color to them. This is what the inside of the satellite looks like. You know, like here. Let's see if we can get some light on this. So, that's what it looks like. When I got the satellite, it came with an external floppy drive, which was a major bonus. This is what the inside of the Tecra looks like. Shit. Okay, so there's a little bit of um, some difference between them. There's two stereo speakers. It's a Pentium MMX processor designed for Windows 95. And uh, it says Go Flames Go. I don't know what it is. You know, I, I'm not a sports person, I don't watch hockey or anything. Just random stickers. It's missing the little eraser head on it, but don't worry, I got an entire bag full of these. So I can just replace that. So, let's see if this one will turn on. It came with a power supply, or a power brick. It says Toshiba on it, so it's the original. So, let's see if this computer powers up. Okay, so we have a little bit of light in there. It's kind of dim though. Okay, so I'm going to close the piano lid. So that way, I can set the lamp down a little bit closer. God, I would love to get a new camera right now. Okay, so... Oh. Comes with a little, little slider here. I don't hear anything coming from the hard drive. Oh yeah, the cool thing about this Toshiba is you know how you have to press the button on a laptop CD drive and you have to wait for it to eject. Well, this is really cool. It's all manual. You can't let you don't have to sit there and wait anymore. If you want your CD out right away, you just press the button. And it comes right out. Now that's a tough looking C D drive there. Oh my god. Wow. I wouldn't say it's a tough looking one, but it's a vintage one for sure. I wonder what the speed is on it. I'm not getting any keyboard response. Oh, it shows that the battery works. Oh, not anymore. It died. Oh, oh, that's, that's not good. Uh-oh. Well, folks, it looks like we got some corrosion going on down here. You see these little white spots? That's actually corrosion. I think that is not good, and I think the motherboard might be coated in that stuff. So, I don't think 
this Toshiba is going to work. Nope, I don't think so. Oh well. That, that happens. But anyway, let, let's take a look at the, the ports on it. It comes with a infrared port, mouse and keyboard, PS2 port, multimedia jacks. Um, I don't know if that's for docking it or... Looks like an old ass printer port. We have the VGA port and serial port. And, of course, the printer port. Now, this pin in here, the, the power supply pin, looks exactly identical to my white Toshiba's power jack. It says it's 15 volts. Let's take a look at this. Everyone recognizes my $5 laptop that I bought from Value Village. T4500C. It says 15 volts. You know what? Let's try that power supply out. I don't know, I'm just trying this out, see if it works. Oh. Well, we got something now. It says error in CMOS, bad checksum. Check system, then press F1 key. My god, the screen is so dim. But, it's always been like that, you know? Let's see. End to save changes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's see if this Toshiba works. Then hey, I found a good power supply for it. I guess I could use the CD drive and the hard drive for parts if they work though. Starting Windows 95. Oh look at that everybody. The old Toshiba T4500C is back in business. good thing too because I thought I was never going to find a power supply for it. I just love that crystal LCD display. You know? Gives it that 90's look. Now obviously the battery's not going to charge because it's way dead. There's no way I'm going to bring it back. Now I know this video is about these th uh, other laptops down here, but when you're trying out a power power brick for a different laptop, you just gotta see if it works. Oh shoot, I forgot, I don't have a mouse. If only I had the original mouse that came with this thing. It, it would used to clip onto the side, and I would uh, move the trackball around. But, like I said in my older video, it never came with one. Yep, but it's, it's fully working now. Oh yes, the old 243 megabyte hard drive with only 104 megabytes of free space. Cool. Well, I'm gonna put this computer on standby and probably make a different video about it. Even though the power brick in the, in the core doesn't match the color, who cares? As long as it works. Now, everyone recognizes the Dell logo. I'm going to point this out to you guys, and I'm going to do that right now. I currently have 
Adele Latitude CP, Adele Latitude CPI, and Adele Latitude CPT. What in the hell is the difference between those three? I don't know. But this is Adele Latitude CPI, and <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I have an entire bin full of these laptops. Like, it's unbelievable. <sighs> These are all the Dell Latitude CPs. It's hard to believe. Oh, and there's a CPI. And these all work. I've already tested them. I gotta put them down. But let's test this Dell Latitude CPI out. I'm not sure if it works. And I'm using my Dell Latitude C640's power supply. And the voltages are about the same, so you know it shouldn't shouldn't affect the performance. The pins are the same, the voltage is the same. So, let's try this out. It's on the other side. Oh, and may I remind you, there's absolutely no battery and no optical drive. Oh, and it turns on. Cool. And also, another thing, the Dell Latitude CP, CPI, and CPT have the worst speaker. Starting Windows 95. Okay, so you guys are about to hear the worst sounding speakers on this old Dell Latitude CPI. And remember, they're a lot worse than my iBooks. You know, it's not even supposed to do that, it's just so bad. That's a little bit better. But, they're, they're just terrible. You know, like, I don't know if they just went into the old parts bin and just pulled out some old ass speakers, but these are really bad. But if you plug a headphone in, they're just fine. So, this one works, but I gotta clear off all of this crap. You know, they still left all the school programs on here. Maple wood, um, Palm desktop, first class, you know, just all the programs that a teacher would use. But it does have this program called Bublets, which, you know, at times I just mess around with. You know, you just pop the bubbles. It's stupid, but stupidly awesome. So this is something that I would play around with all all day. Okay, so let's turn this computer off. What? All I do is press the button. Okay. Now we're on to the Dell Latitude CPT. The specs on it are about the same. One USB port, serial, keyboard and mouse, docking port printer port and VGA port and of course the infrared port oh and it's missing the one of the keys on it this Dell Latitude CP T has the exact same layout as my Dell Latitude C640 because 
this model has the eraser point and the upper buttons. As this one does not have that feature. Okay, so let's power it on. That's awkward. Uh oh. Does this thing even have any RAM in it? No, this one doesn't have RAM. Okay everybody, I got a better idea. I'm going to take the RAM out of this Dell Latitude CPI. I'm going to install it in this Dell Latitude CPT and see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, then I'm pretty sure there's something up with the motherboard. You know, people get rid of things for a reason. And usually they do that because sometimes the, mach the machine is so obsolete that it's not really usable. Okay. Going to install the RAM. I should really get a tripod. Because holding a camera and doing this with one hand isn't really the fun fun part of my job. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother putting the cover back on because I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. Okay, let's see if this CPI works, or CPT, jeez. I'm getting the CP, CPI, and CPT mixed up. There's so many of them. What else did Dell invent? The CPA? Oh dear. Well, that is bullshit. You know, I think this one has a, a fried motherboard because really it's not supposed to do that. Okay then, well, this one might be a dud. And if it is, like, I'm gonna still try to put different RAM sticks in here to see if it works, you know? But I'll do that later. Maybe it doesn't accept these kind of RAM sticks. These are from 1996 and they're 16 megabytes each. And they're EDO. They're the right, right ones for it, but you know, some computers are really stubborn don't like certain certain parts. Okay. Let's try this Dell Latitude CPT. Heck, it's gotta work. Let's see if it has RAM first. Oh. Someone's stealing the RAM out of these. You know, it just makes me wonder, who would take the RAM out of a computer that is so old? You know, I'm pretty sure these machines had at least 128 megabyte RAM sticks, you know? There's no way these Dells would have had 256 megs. Whoops. Butterfingers. All right, come on. Ooh, that battery light, sweet. Oh, that sucks, it's the same thing. 
but this time I have a second light, and that's the hard drive light. And I'm not getting any response from the hard drive either, and it's right over here. Heck, let's see if there is one installed. Yep, it's a Fujitsu. Uh, I don't know how many gigs it has, or if it's a... But I didn't know when it was made. It was made in 2007, and it was made in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. It was made in August of 2000. Well, if these are 11 gigabyte drives, I could really use these. But, I don't know. Like I said, I have more RAM sticks and I'm going to go through the RAM bag and see if I have anything. Stupid hard drive. Oh well. Next, let's try the IBM ThinkPad 380ED. Alright everybody, this is the last laptop that's in the pile. Um, it is the IBM ThinkPad 380ED. It's exactly identical to this IBM ThinkPad. God damn the lighting in here what it looks like and this one is actually heavier and I'll explain that in just a second the reason why this thing pad is heavier than this one is because this thing pad shows all of the electronics inside and this thing pad actually has metal plates covering the entire board I guess it is some sort of shock absorber or whatever like it protects the inside so those metal plates add a couple pounds to it and when I got this one it was in pieces. And I did have another one, but it died. The video is called I Left My Laptop Outside. And uh, it snowed that night and it died. And when I got them, like I said, they were all in pieces. So they had no screws. So the keyboard actually just comes off. But I did find some screws, like these aren't the right ones. And see that uh, the top one is different from the bottom. And that's what's keeping the screen attached to the to the frame. This one I can't really take apart because <laughs> um, it actually has screws holding the keyboard down. So, it's all one piece. Okay, so let's start this baby up and see if she runs. I'm not sure if the battery's any good. I have to test that. Oh, the screen is a little bit too bright. That's better. And, of course, the CMOS battery is dead. I'm going to have to replace the eraser point on here. It's really dirty and yucky looking. Oh, what is it now? Oh, and the little birdie's running away. It's one of those terrible track points. It's asking me to do a scan, but I don't want to. Yeah, it's okay.
There we go. And it has Windows 95 with Internet Explorer. This is a lot faster than the Dell Latitude CPI. The one with the missing optical drives. Ooh, CD drive works. It's a lot different. This is what the CD drive looks like in my old IBM ThinkPad 380ED. You know? You compare this one. The button's a little bit thinner and the light is kind of like a circle shape. I don't know what's up with that. Whoops. Okay, so let's see. Uh, there's not much stuff on here. Let's see how big the hard drive is. And it shows that there's a CD drive. Thank God. Properties. Uh, it is a 1.96 gigabyte hard drive. And 510 megabytes is used. So there's only... Oh wait. There's 1.46 gigabytes used. And there's 510 megabytes free. That sucks. Oh well. Typical. Let's see how much RAM is available. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh. The original um, operating system that's on here. They never even changed it. 47 megabytes of RAM. And it's registered to brand Brand Lion? Brand Lin? I don't know. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to figure out what the name is. Let's see, what can I do on here? Oh! Does it have the IBM ThinkPad welcome screen? Uh, it says antivirus for IBM ThinkPad. Let's check that out first. Check your system for viruses now. Push here. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't even want to know if that's going to make it slow or not. Uh, IBM 380E. It's supposed to have the D in there. ED. Presentation. I think it's the same one that's on the other thing pad. Oh, layout's different. Initializing the demonstration, please wait.
Sweet. Wow, this is a lot different than the introduction on the other ThinkPad. Like, it doesn't have this little menu here. Affordable. Say hello to the notebook computer that's got it all. Cool screen. Hot sound. <laughs> Neat keyboard. Great software, including Lotus Smart Suite, and all at an incredibly affordable price. It's the IBM ThinkPad. That's real value. Think about it. Not sure if the value is any good now. I think it's only worth to be a paperweight. But it's worth something to me, because, you know, it's history right here. This is what people used every day. In, the like, IBM ThinkPad. It's small enough to fit in your briefcase, affordable enough to suit your budget. The ThinkPad. For home, for work, for travel. It gives you the performance and quality you demand. At an attractive price, you'll appreciate. Want to learn more? Select a topic. See what makes ThinkPad a better place to think. So anyway, you know, this is what people used to carry around with every single day. You know, they they would have used these things at their jobs, um, at school, home, you know. It, it just amazes me that these were once popular computers. Along with the Toshiba, the Dells, you know performance. Take advantage of the latest in computing technology with ThinkPad. You'll get the high performance of today's most advanced processors and high-speed bus architectures. The vibrance of a huge bright display. You'll also get long battery life with quick charging times. And hard drive and memory options give you room to work, room to grow. Multimedia. Experience new worlds of business, education, and entertainment with an integrated CD-ROM drive. Master Pro audio support brings life to multimedia presentations. High performance audio with a built-in speaker. And jacks for expanded capabilities. Versatility. Today, ThinkPad's new all-in-one design gives you more convenience and functionality than ever. The hard drive, floppy drive, even the CD-ROM drive are all built in. And PC card slots offer easy network and modem connections. Along with Netscape Navigator, it's all you need to surf the web. Plus, for the ultimate in connectivity, ThinkPad gives you high-speed infrared for printing, file transfers, and wireless connections. And for added versatility, ThinkPad's optional port replicators provide the ultimate in desktop convenience. Confidence. Only ThinkPad is backed by IBM's exclusive helpware services and support, including a one-year warranty, toll-free hardware support, operating system software support plus the convenience of optional courier repair service 
think of it as investment protection. Rely on it as your assurance of quality. Hmm. And that's all. Exit. Exit to Windows. So that's pretty cool, you know? Like... Wow. I wish the other ThinkPad had that option. Let's see. Uh, ThinkPad features. Hmm. It's taking a little bit too long here. It's not indicating anything. You know, I think it froze on me, guys. Wow. It was working one minute, but now it's not. But anyway, um, you know, this ThinkPad is probably one of the coolest. Oh. Ah, uh, fudge muffins. I'll piss on it. Anyway. It is one of the coolest out of all of the laptops I got today, you know. Because you don't see the Dell laptop showing a presentation about it, you know. It doesn't give you features and doesn't have much of the original software on it. But this one has the original stuff like it. It's the original OS that was shipped with this computer after it left with the factory. All the original programs, including um, IBM's antivirus program. It's pretty sweet. Well, it's all the time we have today. Um, you know, since it's frozen, I'm going to turn it off and see if the battery's good before we end this presentation. The battery sucks. Yeah, the battery's done for. But the battery in my other ThinkPad works. I'm gonna get that off too.